I'm Rebecca from Ingvid, and this lesson is about optimistic English. It's about what you can say and how you can think in order to make yourself and others around you more positive rather than negative. So in this lesson, we're going to cover seven proverbs and expressions that people use in English to encourage each other, okay? Now, what's a proverb? A proverb is a sort of a short, wise saying that people have been using for a long time to communicate some kind of simple advice or wisdom. All right, so let's see how optimistic a person you are with a little question. This is something that we do use in English. So you can see here that I have tried to draw a glass with some water. So how do you see this glass? Do you see this glass as half full? or as half empty? What do you think? So if you said that the glass is half full, then usually that suggests that someone is a little bit more optimistic. And if someone says that the glass is half empty, then that means they tend to look at the glass, which is just a symbol of life, as the things that are missing rather than all the things that you have. So a more optimistic person would tend to see this glass as half full. So sometimes people ask, like, you know, look at the half, or, or they say, look at the half full glass. I know you're going through a difficult time, but look at the half full glass, not half empty, okay? What does that mean? It means look at all the good things, look at all the positive things, all right? So let's look at some more. Here's the first one. When one door closes, another door opens, okay? So that's something that we say to encourage other people. It's pretty straightforward. It's, I think you can understand it. When one door closes, another door opens. So what is that trying to say? That when one opportunity or perhaps a job or a relationship or some situation ends, another job or relationship or opportunity will be available and be open, okay, to come into your life. So we say this to someone when they have some, when something difficult has happened and we want to encourage them. So let's suppose that your friend John has lost his job, okay? So, and he's feeling a bit unhappy about it. So you could say, hey, John, it's okay. When one door closes, another door opens, which means you'll get a better job uh, soon. Okay, maybe even a, another job and maybe even a better job. Okay, all right. The second one, where there's a will, there's a way. Say it after me. Where there's a will, there's a way. So here, what, is it, what do we mean by will? Okay, usually you know will from the future tense, right? But here it doesn't mean that. It's a noun. So here will is like desire, okay? Or um, determination, okay? Where there is a will, where there's a strong desire to achieve something, to do something, there is a way. So if you have a strong desire to achieve a goal, you will find a way. That's what this is saying. So again, there's John, he's lost his job. You told him this first, you meet him a little bit later, and he's still looking for a job, and you tell him, don't give up, you know, keep going. Where there's a will, there's a way. As long as you stay determined and focused and positive, you will find a way to get another job, okay? But again, this doesn't have to be only about jobs. It's just the example I'm giving you. Next, number three, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Say it after me. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Now, first of all, what's a tunnel? A tunnel, tunnel is a kind of an underground passageway so let's suppose a train has to go through a mountain, they will build a tunnel so that the train can go through, right? And a tunnel is usually, yeah, it's a way to get through, but it's usually kind of a dark place. So when we say there is light at the end of the tunnel, it means that even though you've been through a difficult time or a dark time, there is light at the end of that. And that light represents hope and good things, positive things, okay? So there's light at the end of the tunnel. So let's say 
that John is still looking for a job and he thinks that somebody, he comes across a job opportunity and he thinks he has a really good chance and he says, you know what, I've been trying to find a job, but I think this one might be it. And you say, yeah, I see there's light at the end of the tunnel. This might be the one. This is, you have a really good chance to get this one. There's hope. Okay, don't give up. All right, next. Number four, better late than never. Better late than never. So, again, this expression, and actually all of these, perhaps they exist in your language. I don't know. And it would be fun to see if you could write at the, at the bottom of the lesson some comments. Leave some comments about optimistic expressions in your language. That'd be great. We could learn from each other. So you might have this expression in your language, better late than never. So what does that mean? Even if something happens a little bit later than you expect, it's better that it happens at all and then, then it doesn't happen ever. So let's say that John finally gets a job, but now John, who is not as optimistic as you are always, he says, yeah, I got a job, but you know, it took so long and I'm, you know, I should have got it earlier. And you're like, hey, John, it's okay. Better late than never, okay? Because the other possibility was that maybe he wouldn't have gotten a job at all, but now he got it. So better late than never. Sometimes we also use this in some other kind of context when somebody arrives, but they came really late and they feel like they missed something. And you say, no, no, it's okay. Better late than never. That means it's better that something happened than that it didn't happen at all. Okay, so that's that one. Here's number five. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay, do you have an idea what that might mean? When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. So a lemon is symbolic for something which is sour. Okay, it doesn't taste too good. But if you, so if life gives you a situation which is a little bit sour, which is a little bit uncomfortable, which you don't like, okay, which is not positive and not easy, make lemonade. Lemonade is something not sour, it's something sweet, it's something fun, and you can drink it, right? It's something that you drink. It's a sweet drink that you make with lemons. So when life gives you lemons, something sour or difficult, make lemonade. Make it sweet, make it positive, okay? Turn the situation around. So that's what this proverb means, okay? And then this one, not so much a proverb, it's more of an expression that people use. It says, keep your chin up. Keep your chin up. What's your chin? This, this is my chin, okay? Keep your chin up. Why? Why do we say that? Because have you noticed that people who are a little bit depressed or a little bit unhappy, they tend to look down a lot. But people who are happy and positive and confident, they tend to look up. Their head is up. Their chin is up. So when someone feels sad, even a child will usually stand like that. But when he's happy, he or she will stand like this. So when you tell somebody, keep your chin up means don't give up. Stay strong. Stay hopeful. Stay proud. Okay? Be confident. Don't give up. Keep your chin up. Stay positive. Stay optimistic. Okay? So now, there are two ways to deal with proverbs. One is, first of all, to understand them, right? If somebody says it, then at least you understand what they've said to you. And the second stage is when you actually learn it and you could say it to someone else. So that's a higher level of English where you're producing the language, right? So now let's do a little quiz to see if you've learned some of these expressions to see if you can fill in the blanks. I'm gonna take away some of the words and you're going to help me to finish uh, the entire expression. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so let's do the first one. Do you remember the entire expression? When one door closes, another door, what is it? Ready? Opens, okay? Say it after me or read it along with me. When one door closes, another door opens. Good. The next one. Where there's a something, 
there's a way. Do you remember what that word was? Where there's a or a, where there's a will. Where there's a will, where there's a desire, there's a way, okay? Now, by the way, these optimistic expressions have been proven in some recent research done by a psychologist named Dr. Suzanne Segerstrom, who works at one of the universities in the States. And she actually found that if you are a person who looks at the glass as half full rather than half empty, uh, optimistic people like that tend to be happier, they tend to be healthier, they tend to be wealthier. What does wealthier mean? Wealthy means rich, so that's always nice. And so is being happy and so is being healthy. So this is what was found and so it's something you might want to keep in mind. Because apparently when people are optimistic, then they take actions based on that, expecting positive results. And that sets some kind of a confidence cycle in um, going, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's get back now. Number three, there's something at the end of the tunnel. What's at the end of the tunnel? A word that we said represents hope and new opportunities and so on. There's light, okay? There's light at the end of the tunnel. Good, you got these. All right, number four, better something than never. What's that? Better late. Good. Better late than never. Very nice. And say them aloud, okay? Say them aloud. You can pause the video, say them, because if you say them with me, there's more chance you're going to actually use them with someone else, okay? And that's what we want you to be able to do. Number five, when life gives you something, make lemonade. When life gives you lemons. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Okay. All right. And the last one, keep your something up. What was that? This, keep your chin. Okay. Keep your chin up. And you too, keep your chin up. Okay. Thanks for watching all these optimistic expressions. I hope you're feeling more optimistic and positive and determined and that you have a will now and you'll find a way to keep improving your English, okay? Because that's all that I want you to be able to do. And I also know that you can do it because you're watching. So if you want to make sure that you know these, go to our website at www.ingvid.com. There you can do a quiz on these. Just make sure that you really know them well. Okay. And also, as I suggested, it would be fun if you leave some comments where you translate kind of into English, because otherwise I can't understand them. So translate into English some expressions similar to these or different from these that represent an optimistic attitude. Okay. Or optimistic advice. That would be fun. All right. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.